All right now. I need my believers, brothers and sisters in Christ to really step up on this time right now because I don't see a lot of us doing what the right what what the words say to do in times like this. I need us to step up a little bit. Get around Vegas. This is James Sutton, Las Vegas, Nevada. It is um June 13th, man. Saturday. You know, uh yeah. Getting right into what I'm want to get into and what I'm came to talk about, you know, is um, you know, how can we not talk about what's going on in this country right now? I mean, look at Seattle. Seattle was taken over by civilians. You know, they took over the police department. They, it's people in the middle of the street, and it's not just a black thing. It's a white thing. It's Hispanic thing. It's crazy. Um, Minnesota. You got New York. I mean, it's unbelievable. You know. What's a little strange to me is that not all, but a lot of us Christians, right, or say that we believe in Christ. I, I, I'm not sure, and I and I made a comment on to a couple friends of mine. I believe this is a time where God is really showing out as far as allowing people to see who's really truly believers in Christ, because who's truly believers, who are truly believers in Christ, their fruit will show. And what I mean by that. It won't be anger. It won't be revenge. You won't have people jumping out in the middle of the street, uh, uh, doing all this crazy stuff, hurting innocent people, doing the riot. Um, that's not what us as believers in Christ do, you know. And I don't know where we get that mixed up um, by saying that that's okay because it's not. Many times throughout the Bible, God refers to this spiritual fight that we are fighting is just that a spiritual fight. We don't fight flesh and blood. And I've mentioned that several times on many of my videos. But, you know, a lot of us believers in Christ or people say they believe in Christ. Man, I'm not too sure about that. This is a illumination. This is a light, right, to show who's really believe in God and who and who doesn't. You know, listen, brothers and sisters in Christ. Or if you're not a believer in Christ, just hear me out. You don't got to believe me. Like I said, in all my videos, I talk from my personal opinion. You have a right to believe what you want to believe, just like I have a right to believe what I want to believe, right? Sorry about that. That was a text. Um, But this is what I believe. The way we get things done in this country is not this way the rioting, the looting, taking over cities. That's not the way we do that. And if you're not a believer in Christ, I get it. I understand why you act like that. But if you are, you need to go back to the drawing board and check yourself. And that goes for preachers and anyone who says they believe in Christ. Because a lot of people that fa that falls into this cat category of what I'm talking about aren't just regular people. I've heard preachers. And I heard priests and I heard different type of people speak hate. And, and, it, and, it's, and it's beyond me that the same people that leads people to say that we believe in Christ is okaying a lot of these situations that's going around in this country because of an emotional thing or because we're angry and because we're fed up, you know. And I don't got to throw out scriptures. Anybody that know what I'm talking about, it's all in the word. You know, just go in there and look. Um, come on, y'all. We got to get this together in the right way. Let's go to our our our, our city, states, and legislators, legislators, and send it. Let's sit inside these uh, boardrooms where on um, the city council, and let's get some of these laws passed that we don't like. You know, but um, to say that we have a right for destruction. Is beyond me. Everybody have a right to feel how they want to feel, but is it right to go out and damage and hurt other people? You can't tell me that the peaceful uh, protesting is going on because, you know what? I rarely see that. And people say, oh, yeah, the media shows exactly what they want to show. Yeah, I'm, I understand that. I believe the media is a, a big part, very big part to all this chaos. Hey, I seen a, a video the other day 
about a man and a police officer. Uh, I guess he went to his house and 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 and, and, and told him he had to. And the guy was like, "Hey, you got the wrong person." And 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 if you look at the bottom of the video, and I'm not gonna name which video it was, but I'm just making an example. If you look at the bottom of the video, whoever created this made it look as though that this just happened. Ironically, I personally seen this video over a year ago. But whoever put this video out gave the impression that this recently happened just a couple months ago or a month ago. Like I said before, um, the devil is busy. He uh, he takes no prisoners. You know, he don't care what color you are, what 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 uh, nationality you are. He accepts all who believes in him. So before we uh, continue. On destruction out here, y'all. Let's think about what we're doing. If we call ourselves believers in Christ, that can't just be by word. That has to be by action too, because our fruit is what tells who we are. As the Bible says, and I'm paraphrasing some things, right? But our fruit shows if we're really believers in Christ. You know, like a tree, right? A tree. You gonna know what type of tree that is because of what fruit it bears, right? If it's apple tree or, or whatever type of tree, you can go, okay, that's an apple tree because it's bearing that type of fruit. This That's exactly what I'm saying about our fruit as people. What comes out of us is gonna show us who we belong to. If we, if, if, if we, um, if we have anger and hate and, and destruction, and, and and malice and, and and all this type of different stuff that shows us who we belong to. It don't matter what comes out of mouth, y'all. You know what I mean? You can talk one way and act a different way. Our mouth and our actions and the way we speak should match match up with our actions, man. And this is really for believers in Christ. You know, uh, uh, this video is just for for us, right? It's for everybody, to tell you the truth, but it's really for us, man. If we won't change, let's do it the right way. You know what I mean? No matter what political party that you decide or you vote for, if you watch my videos before, people know I'm a conservative. People know that um, uh, I, I vote for Trump, and, 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 and I have voted for Trump before all of this. You know what I mean? But it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or, or, or a Republican, independent. If you call yourself first a man or woman of God, you will act accordingly. And that's mainly what I got to say. Get around Vegas. Hit like. Share this if you like this. You know, subscribe to my channel. You know, leave a dialogue. Show me. Tell me if, 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 you, if you agree. If you don't agree, it's okay. I'm not an angry, hateful person. So if you disagree, that's fine. We can talk about it. But let's get down to a solution without all the violence and tearing up the cities and taking over the cities. Because I tell you, the people that's in Seattle and other parts of this country that's doing all this chaos, man. You know, I'm almost thinking that Trump should just lead them cities just like it is so they can govern themselves. If that's what they want. Get around Vegas. Matthew 6.33. Go love somebody, man. I'll talk to you in my next video.